These are excruciating days for Ukrainians. It took this family nearly a month to recover the remains of Yuri Shabadash, who at the age of 59 was killed in combat near the city of Irpin. His son Artem now wants revenge and says he has no other option but to fight this war. We didn't start it, but we will finish it. Russians can't fight in close combat. Just remember that they're cogs. You hear this right now? This is this is a rinse and this means that the again start bombing us. This Kyiv municipal cemetery bears witness to the current escalation of a war many here consider has started not last month, but eight years ago, when Russia annexed Crimea and began supporting rebels in the east. Since then, over 14,000 people have died, according to the Ukrainian government. But very few here minimize the seismic shift February 24th came to represent. This is the war uh, not even for freedom, this is the war for our survival. Because if we lose this war, probably we will be all killed by, by the Russians because they, they do not recognize Ukraine as independent. During liturgy, vows to resist and fight on despite the test Russia's invasion of this country represents to the faithful here. I feel that a lack of faith has to do with this, because if we would believe like it should, like we should believe, we would uh, crush Russia, we would destroy Russia, we would destroy Kremlin. But now we are just resisting in our territory because we lack faith, we, we are weak in faith. Ukraine's capital, Kyiv, remains Russia's primary military objective, according to Western officials. And many warn Moscow could try to encircle the city in the coming weeks and turn to even deadlier tactics in the process. That as diplomatic efforts to end the fighting have made only minimal advances, and the human toll of the war continues to climb. Anadis Borges in Kyiv for Euronews.